This title was given to the episode just to piss me off. They wanted to let me believe that I will hate it, so when it turns out it's a CMC episode, I'd be relieved and I'd give a better grade. Well, it worked. I really enjoy the Cutie Mark Crusaders episodes. There is a great childish humor about them. This little group of fillies can always make me smile. Here, we can see them practice some new skills with Twilight. We can guess Twilight's teaching philosophy because she just says it. I already told you I won't show you how, but I help you find the extraction so you can figure it out yourselves. <laughs> Dave Polsky is usually known for his great slapstick comedy. With a coughing plant gag, he lets us know that he won't even try this time. The episode's theme is the social structure of an elementary school class and how a celebrity can change it around just so it can settle back to its original state. I actually really like the message this episode has about friendship. Yes, there will be arguments and disagreements, but if you can sit down and talk about it, you can forgive each other and soon your friendship can be even stronger than before. I just want to add that you shouldn't just make peace with each other because it feels uncomfortable to sit next to each other in class. Don't just say, I'm sorry, can we just forget about it? The other will accept because she doesn't want to argue either, but she would still like to discuss the problem at hand so it never happens again. If you don't talk about your issue, you will not understand properly how the argument made the other feel and maybe you will repeat it later. And then you will have to deal with two arguments at the same time, the one at hand and the ghost of the argument before. Back to the episode, the CMC is at twilight, practicing individual skills. We see how Sweetie Belle is getting better with her magic. She can create a magical aura and she can even knock over a broom. And she looks disappointed by that. You did succeed at moving the broom! First Rarity with the apple bucking and now Sweetie Belle with the broom. What is up with this show and not appreciating little accomplishments? Later in school, Diamond Tear and the Grey One teases the CMC because they are poor and don't know any famous people. Except for their sisters who saved the world like five times and Rainbow Dash who is a world famous athlete who just had the biggest birthday party ever three episodes ago. Oh yeah, and Twilight. Sure, let, let, let's go with that. Soon every kid in town and some from all over the world gather in Ponyville to stalk Twilight. She, of course, isn't bothered or annoyed by this, since that would suggest that she has a personality and we can't let that happen. I find this part of the episode really useful though. Children and teens and some adults don't really know how to handle a celebrity's company. And even if they know, they lose their head when they are close to a famous person and they start to act silly. This is hard to control, and it's nice to see that this episode is about dealing with celebrities, keeping our cool near them, and eventually just leaving them alone. Twilight is pretty much a blank slate in this episode, so we can project any image of any celebrity we want onto her. This is an important lesson today, when Justin Bieber can get into news on the other side of the planet because apparently we should care. Twilight acts too calm and rational in this episode. I know it's not about her, but it would have been nice to see that she's somewhat disappointed. Like when she said, neither did any of you. That was a good line, but she didn't seem that interested in it. And when earlier in the episode she said to the girls that they remind her of herself as a filly, that line sounded really forced. They could have shown that by Sweetie Belle turning a page of a book with her magic and Twilight looking proud. And Pinky shows up in this scene. Oh my god, they are so desperate to sell toys. She doesn't have any narrative purpose to the episode. They just put her in to sell those stupid dolls of her. That's it. The series that is solely based on a toy line completely sold out. This is the moment, guys. They crossed the line. Rage quit. Jesus.